Welcome back everyone, today's going to be another product review. It's going to be on the Blue Alpha range slash duty belt. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button down below, also that notification bell, that way when I upload videos, you guys will be notified. And also, before we get started, I just want to say thanks to Blue Alpha for sending this out to do a product review. Really good company. Right now, they're about two weeks for lead time. I contacted them beginning February and I just got this on Friday. Friday which which was yesterday so roughly two weeks 14 days to 17 days from what it says on their website but anyways this is it right here it is the 1.75 inch model this belt also comes with an inner belt um, there's many different options you guys can choose from so it does come in multi-cam there is black coyote brown OD green and wolf gray that goes with the inner belt as well so we'll go a little bit into more detail about this shortly. All right, so let's jump down a little closer and we take a look at this belt. All right, so let's dive a little deeper into this belt. So again, this is their range slash duty belt. This is their Molly edition, meaning that there's Molly points all around the belt here. Now they do make two models of this. They make this one and then just a standard belt without molly attachments i opted to go with this one just because i'm going to be transferring over all of my accessories from my old belt to this belt and it's all molly attached so it'll just make it a lot easier this also comes with an inner belt this inner belt is the soft side of the velcro i forgot to mention that this belt is a two-piece system we'll get into that here in a bit but basically you put this on first through your belt loop blue alpha does sell this belt separately on the website as an edc belt I forgot what it's called but this is their slim line basically there's no buckle it's just a velcro strap you loop through here and then you wrap it back around and then velcros into place this is the 1.5 inch model and then this one here is 1.75 so you would put this on first like i mentioned and then you put this over and it stays into place because it's velcroed again these belts are size specific so you need to know the size belt and then order it this is a 32 inch but as you guys can see, there's a whole lot of adjustments you can do on here for 30. So this basically can give more or less depending on the size of your waist. Jumping back to the actual belt front here, you do have an actual Cobra buckle. This is the actual name branded one, which is really nice. If anybody doesn't know what a Cobra buckle is, they use a lot of these in parachuting, skydiving, etc. So you know it's going to be sturdy and it's going to hold all of your gear. So next to that is actually a D-ring. They do make this optional. I just decided to get it because I thought it looked cool. Basically this is what you use to hook yourself into a helicopter or if you're repelling from a certain height or object. And I like how Blue Alpha kind of keeps this in place with a little velcro keeper. So you can take this off and when you're ready to repel you clip yourself in to there and you're good to go and when you're not using it you can store it away nice and sleek again like I mentioned this is the molly design so it's got molly attachments all the way around and everything seems to be stitched really nice a lot of this has to do with your lead time um, right now blue alpha is about 7 to 14 days out because they make these to order and you guys can see everything is stitched really nice and this belt is actually pretty sturdy again this is a size 32 so you're going to want to order it to your pant size these actually fit pretty true and it also has a lot of room for adjustment so this is a 32 and this is the excess material that you can use to adjust bigger or smaller based on your waist size again and then it has this keeper that you can kind of keep this in place all right so here is my old belt um, I've had for roughly a year now. Everything seems to be holding up well. Again, it's actually an Amazon belt that I got. Uh, it's called Tacticon. It's actually a veteran owned company. This is a really nice belt, but I just wanted to try something different. If you guys haven't seen this video on this specific belt itself, I will leave a link somewhere up here for you guys to check out. I'm actually going to take everything off of this belt and I'll swap it over onto the Blue Alpha belt. Alright, so we're back up top here and I got everything swapped over. So like I mentioned before, you're going to want to put your inner belt on first. Pretty self-explanatory. This is going to be the Velcro side. What I like to do is I like to set my gun holster first and then come around. Everything's in place. As you guys can see. 
Got my HSGI mag pouches here. It's my pistol pistol mag pouches and then my AR mag. Got my tourniquet, med pouch, gloves, and then the holster. Don't mind my dog barking. But got my Smith & Wesson. That is all she wrote. It's on there pretty sturdy. Velcro on there is nice and strong. A lot of people would think that the double system belt here would be flopping around, but it actually does not. It's actually pretty sturdy. At first, I thought that if you were to move around, you would hear the Velcro kind of making noise, but it actually does not. This cover buckle actually sucks in everything really nice and tight, and the Velcro just holds it that much more secure. Again, this is the Blue Alpha Range Duty. Molly 1.75 belt. I'll do an update video on this for you guys here in the next couple months after I get outside and do some shooting with this, do some drills. Everything seems to be really nice. This leg strap here, if you don't have one, get yourself one. When you draw your pistol, the bottom holster does not lift up. Everything's nice and secure. So let's go over this one more time. Blue Alpha belt, cover buckle, gloves, HSGI pistol mags, got two of them, the taco, AR mag, tourniquet, very important to have, med kit, I don't put anything here in between my pistol and my med kit just because I want room to draw my pistol and nothing will get in the way. But that is all I have for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell. Again, just want to say thanks to Blue Alpha for setting out this belt for me to do a review on. I can already tell this is going to be my go-to belt for the range. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them. And until next time, be safe everyone.